Well, a local health system is reporting a real incredible breakthrough for people who are in need of a bone marrow transplant. Henry Ford Health has performed what it believes is the first bone marrow transplant in the U.S. from a deceased donor. This is a historic step forward that could provide new hope for patients who are battling blood cancers who can't find a living match. The recipient is a 68-year-old African-American woman from Flint who suffered a relapse of her leukemia. She couldn't find a match in her family or the National Bone Marrow Registry. Transplant is the only curative option. So without transplant, um, you know, it would be difficult to say how long she would be able to survive. But Dr. Munir Abdi and the team at Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit found another option. A company called Osium Health has created a method of extracting bone marrow from a deceased donor's spine. Osium had a match for their patient. When we exhausted all our options, uh, this uh, opportunity, you know, came up. The transplant was performed in June. The patient has been discharged from the hospital to continue recovery at home. Since this was the first, there were many hurdles to clear, but... Once it becomes standard of care, this is going to be a game changer. 70% of patients who need a bone marrow transplant do not find a match in their family. Only 29% of black patients find a match on the National Registry. It will help definitely minorities where it is difficult for us to identify a donor and will also improve the speed with which we can uh, offer this treatment. Henry Ford Health is now collaborating with Osseum Health to begin a clinical trial using deceased donor bone marrow for hard to match patients. We also um, are really, you know, um, uh, pleased that we were the first one to be, you know, pioneers to develop this compassionate protocol and were able to offer uh, this, uh, you know, treatment option for our patients. Now, one advantage of the deceased donor bone marrow is that it is frozen and ready to be shipped almost immediately if it's needed. With a living donor, it can take a lot of time to mm -hmm. prepare the donor and schedule the procedure. The recipient is now about 80 days post-transplant, not ready for any interviews yet, but doctors say the outlook so far is encouraging. I'm when you just, think about how many so people are waiting for this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's fascinating, isn't it? Yeah, it really, really is. is. I've done yeah. so many stories on people looking for that match. And exactly, this right, right, right. Some issues. All right.